Okay, we are at Moss's station, and the first thing is to remember the shadow that first comes at this time here. Okay, so there's your time on your ticker on your clock on the, and then there's your time up there. Okay, 5:05 p.m. I'm going to hit play, and we should be able to go ahead and catch. Get a big shadow. Okay, and the sun's not down yet. Okay, because here comes the sun. Okay, because the sun's going down. Okay. And here's the sun after it's pretty much gone down, okay? But let's back it up a little bit, okay? Because we're going to go back to about, we'll have to let it play through. It's got a real touchy player. So here we go, and we'll go up, and then you'll see it come by in real time with the sun. As it goes down, it's a good thing it plays fast because then we won't take up a There comes the shadow, what I showed you to begin with, and here there it goes right by with the sun. So we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and freeze that, okay? Should be able to do, there, yeah. That more than likely, probably the moon. Not sure what's following it. And there's your shadow again that goes away. So we've got a lot of objects out there they don't tell us about. And as you can see, folks, this is a live shot pretty much down there, and it's four minutes ahead. They just might have their clock messed up a little bit because you can see my clock, Central Standard Time, okay? So they're like 12 hours ahead of us, okay? Pretty much right at 12 hours ahead. Okay, so I hit refresh, and so now I should be able to play it again. So here we go. Make sure I'm recording. What I'll do is I'll end up finding out watch the clock and see what's following the sun by looking at uh, our charts. And as you can see, we're here at this shot. And we'll just keep and watch the sky and watch the clock, and I'll just eyeball it. Won't mess with the player, because the player is real touchy. Like I said, there's a shadow. Okay, and then we got what's beside the sun. We'll try to freeze that in a little bit and watch what follows the sun. There you go. So more than likely, it's probably the moon. Not really too worried about it. Actually, it might be Venus because Venus is lit up pretty good right now. So I'll go ahead and see what follows it. See if I can get the player to go back real fast. And we'll see if we can freeze it first before we go and see about the time. I'm going to get it a little bit smaller on the screen so that I can basically go custom. That should work. And I didn't get it stopped in time. So what we'll do is we'll hit play again. Plays pretty fast. So we'll take up all this video pretty much on this action and see what's going on. But hopefully we'll be able to blow the shot up. There's your shadow comes in. There's our object. All right, so now I should be able to blow in on that by going ahead and zoom in. Get 200. I'll take it to 400. Here we got lucky on the, where we're at on the screen and everything like that. We got a picture and we'll zoom in. And as you see, zoomed in on it a little bit more, you can see that basically you know that it's not the brightness of the sun that everybody always says the camera is doing this and it's doing that you can actually see that it rotates fast and you can see a noid you can see four noids right there basically there 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 and there so i'll zoom a little bit more on it and a little bit more and as you can see it's what it is and let's go ahead and Let's look what we've pretty much figured that have guessed that it could be Venus, but we'll see. Or the moon. And here it comes in right above the clock there, so watch it. So we'll get down and give a snip of this and see what we got following it.
Okay, this is our object that followed it, and basically, we'll be able to zoom in on that. And basically, what you see is my screen capture is caught in. The, so no matter what, if that's Venus or the Moon, which more than likely, I'm pretty darn sure that that's Venus right there. Okay, folks. Then I'm gonna get crazy and just kind of go right past it, and then you just have that. But that's more than likely Venus. So let's go ahead and see what was actually following. Now remember, this is down in Antarctic. That was the time down there, 12 hours difference. My guess is pretty much right. It was Venus because there's Venus. Now you have to remember you're at the South Pole when you're looking at that, okay? That means you're sitting down here and the West is over here and East is over here. And we always know the sun goes down in the West, okay? So the sun went down, okay, because they're sitting there in the, and Saturn was ahead of it, the sun, okay? But that, what, that blob was not Saturn, okay? That black blob was not Saturn, okay? Saturn's in front of the sun. And Venus followed, okay? And then even after that, when you were sitting there, you wouldn't notice that Jupiter was, because you're not going to be able to see it there, because it's going to, you probably, after a while, in, in the dark, you probably could see that. That would probably be the next brightest thing that was after Venus there at that shot. Remember, you would have been sitting down here in the South Pole looking down here at the sun, which you see on the sky chart up there, okay? Because there's north. Okay, so it was Venus that followed it, okay, but that was our object and it was not Saturn, okay, the black spot, because I, there was your coordinates for KC Station, okay, and you're sitting at the South Pole looking up at the sky, so you'd be looking down, at the, down here, okay, you'd be looking down here at this sun in and all these constellations and everything in the east heading toward the west going down okay so like i said how venus is looking so damn bright and large right now okay but our object was our object i plop over to asgard and we got some interesting nighttime things to look at don't we because we have very bright more than likely venus this that or whatever and you can take your time to go see what we got coming on in the nighttime sky because these are all nighttime sky shots and as you can see they're very interesting okay so we'll go to live view we'll go to each one of these real fast now remember folks the sun's down in the west right now as i'm taking this as you look at my central standard time right down there and you can see what's going on so the sun in this is already down jupiter's already around the other side of the earth going down in the west so is venus so is the sun and the only thing that basically should be following should be Mercury. Because this is what I put in, and basically this is what I ended up getting back. And you know that basically the sun's down in the west, so this stuff all stays concurrent. It's just the idea that we don't have... Your constellation is correct, what you'll see, but basically all this should be gone. The only thing maybe is Mercury left. So Mercury's looking that big in the nighttime sky. Because you can see on Central Standard Time here, and we already have the UTC time, and it's already the 24th. Okay, so Mercury is more than likely what's doing this here signature here and what you're seeing in all the other shots up here. All right. So let's go to see our objects. The 23rd and count how many we got real fast. And you can go visit the site anytime and they won't change these. They'll keep these around. We didn't have everything around because they still have the second top for the, lo the oldest date. I wasn't counting, but you can see as we still have a bunch of asteroids and so forth coming around. Now these are the same object. Every object is just a different shot from a different station. When you see orbit and summary, that's basically one object. So you can count. I'm not wasting my time counting. I just know we got a bunch. And it's the tail. Orionis going through Haley Bop's tail and a bunch of stuff that's out there that NASA's not confused. They pretty much know about it too. It's just, it's weird how they leave all this stuff to look at themselves and don't really tell anybody. I mean, kids should be outside watching this, you know, educating younger people about this, that this stuff is out there. It's pretty wild stuff. As you see, we've got a bunch of objects. I wasn't counting, but we're still going. So there's a lot of activity out there. Get out and take a look. And that should pretty much have been what your Robert was, that it was there. You probably was saying it was Mercury, right? You have to back up the video. 
Wow, a lot of items, a lot of items. So in the 22nd, we'll scroll through that real fast. So there's tons of stuff in the sky to go look at at nighttime and the daytime. Keep your eyes wide open. Wow, lots of items. Close orbits too. I'm not going to pull them up right now, but I know there's been some close ones. Stuff's hit out in California. Now the space wind should pick up, solar wind should pick up from that 351 from here because basically we have an M in an X class flare. Started with a C and then we got an M and then you ended up getting this from coordinates 1598 off of the sun. And basically, you need to watch Two Minute News as of today, the 23rd. And brighter than the full moon, this guy caught it. And he was in. Well, you'll have to go to Space Weather and see about it. So, a lot of significant stuff going on. And we got large objects coming again, so we'll get another round of good earthquakes out of these bigger objects again, because we got these coming around here. So it all matches, and let's go ahead and see if we can get it in on and see what's going on out in. And like it says right here, keep yourself alert. You might be able to see something. It's pretty wild action. And there's lots of webcams. The Hawaii one is really good, too. I'll we'll have to take a look over there. And as you can see, our... Solar wind speed is already going up in the most dangerous thing right here. Look what we're getting ready to be in the red on. So we should get some uh, quake activity out of just that there alone. And here's some fresh shots of the sun and so forth in our auroral. And somewhere between us, the meatball protects us, folks, because we get a lot of protection. It's like the sun doesn't want to even mess with that thing that's so big. And here's our basic plasma in space around earth bright side is the sunny side and the dark side is the back side of earth and there's that's a satellite that go in tandem around earth ghost basically that's our i think it's basically our ghost satellite i don't yeah ghost 11 13 uh that's our satellites that orbit around earth to keep a picture of earth and basically that's the auroral action of our whole wave of earth going through that's our plasmosphere. That's basically our atmosphere that protects us. And as you can see, it's some pretty wild action. I don't know if I got time to put magnetosphere in here. I'd say Hawaii is going to get a pretty good earthquake no matter what. And also over here, the ring of fire will be getting what it's usually getting. Thank God the X flare was small and it was on the south side, not going towards us. And basically the M earlier and C's. And as you see, we're not out of danger yet because it's already going on an upward tick of a high C. So the sun's really ripping its ass apart. And then we'll go see that we're going to have in the magnetosphere with that dramatic of a red flag. With that polar angle, we'll go ahead. This is how they record you. You see that I'm recording what I'm trying to go to. And they're recording me, folks. You see that? It's called mirroring someone. There we go, we got rid of them. And there you go, folks. Check out the wild action we're doing through space. Our rural and our plasma, whatever you want to call our it is basically our magnetosphere, our magnetical mag, mag, our magnetical field through space. And it's doing some wild action. Check that out. Looks like flame job on a nice hot rod. So anyhow, I'm gonna blow that up just a little bit. I knew that would be going on with that polar angle that we were getting. So we'll customize that when we're sitting here. We'll do it like 287. Just pop that in. And there you go. So pretty wild action in that angle that we're going through space. Remember, we're going more than 66,000 miles an hour right now, which is at least 6,000 miles an hour faster than what we do normally. And we're getting volcanoes. We're just basically getting the magnetic. We'll get some wild weather again out of this. 